I never know what I'm going to say when I begin these. Then again, the greatest sermons that have ever been given on this planet were not planned. They were not written. They came from the moment. Because this moment is all there is. The spirit ever dwells in the present. We've heard this so many times. Yet it's so often you find when you go to yoga classes, church, retreats, spiritual dogma is everywhere. People recite the same prayers, they use the same techniques, the same methods, the same chants, the same songs for years and years and years. Does the sun rise in the same place every day? Does it set in the same place? Does the same animal life live in the same spot year after year? Does the sky look the same today as it did yesterday? So if we are to accept what the sages have been telling us, that the spirit dwells in the present, why is it that our methods for spiritual practice become so mechanical. Reciting the same prayers, the same chants, doing the same exercises day after day, that is not spiritual. And it never was. And that's why we've always needed new masters in this world. That's why there wasn't just Buddha, or there wasn't just the Vedas, or just Christ, because the spirit changes. It's in a new place every day. And if we're not present, we tend to miss it. New times call for new methods. Each new day calls for a new method. The prayer that I recite today is not going to be the same prayer that I gave yesterday. Because if it were, that wouldn't mean I'm actually connected. It's so common that we look at the finger that points to the moon rather than the moon itself. How many people these days focus so much on the sages and the teacher rather than the teaching. I am the way. He doesn't say I am the goal, I am the destination, but I am the way. We forget this, that they are the way, the road, not 
the destination. Of course we can have great love for the people who have given us great teachings. We should never forget what we've been given. It can be hard to let go, it really can. Because there's so many great teachers. The trees, the forests, the sun, the sky, music. People, friends, new family. Our experiences day after day. But in the end, we all must emerge from the womb. We all must learn to stand on our own. To stand on our own two feet. Because in the end, it's a solo journey. It's just us and the great spirit, great creator. But as the great Alan Watts says, life is a song and we were meant to sing or dance while it's being played. He didn't say it was about standing still. Oh, it's this move, stay here. He didn't say it's about a series of moves. For dance, it's not a repetition. It's not just a series of two or three things in repetition. It's about hearing the music and flowing with it. And yes, we learn techniques because we incorporate those techniques into the dance, but techniques without the dance are nothing. They're just mechanical. We need the music. If there's no music, if there's no dance, there's no joy. If there's no joy, where's the love? And that's what we lose in these mechanical doctrines, is we've lost the love. Above all else, above all techniques, all knowledge is love. For life, I believe, gives us all its blessings when we love the things that are outside of ourselves, when we find ourselves within the external. We hear over and over again, go inward. It can be useful, but in the end, there is no inward. There is no outward. There is just existence. When you feel a sense of connection, a sense of love, the life you're living, for the people in your life, knowing that they will one day not exist, recognizing that it's a gift. Gift. We're all going to die one day, so why die now? It's inevitable. In the end, this will have been just a blink. Just a blink. So love your life. I try to love my life. It's not always easy. <laughs> I can't always feel it. I, I really can't. Some days I'm just <laughs> not connected, but I don't think we always can be connected. Sometimes we need to go in. Sometimes we need to connect to just ourselves. Sometimes we need to just take it back into the moment and be small and recognize we're just people just humans. 
feel big some days and then really small on some other days. But that's part of the dance. Sometimes the music gets quiet and drops out. And you're left with just silence. And silence is so much better after a great dance. <laughs>